Hello, this is David Swallow, Application Engineer for 3Design and 3Shaper. Retopology is a new add-on tool for 3Shaper version 2. It's mostly used for reverse engineering 3D scan data. This allows you to essentially draw a mesh on an imported object like this coin here. Now instead of an incomplete or non-editable model, you can now have complete control of the mesh and shape it any way you want. I wanted to show you some other uses for the Retopology tool that can be useful for our jewelry customers as well. Using our original solid ring as the support, we can draw on the shape of our filigree using Retopology. Allowing for complete control of our shapes and even doing intricate scroll work. The mesh is drawn right on the surface, so we know it will match up to the cutout window. In a similar method to the filigree, we can also set up a retopology mesh for creating engraving cutters. The advantage here is we can match up the cutter mesh to any surface, and again, we have complete freedom to shape them any way you want. An additional benefit is since we are using meshes instead of nerve surfaces, we get Boolean operations that cut very quickly and smoothly. In this example, instead of linking my retopology mesh to the surface, I'm going to use the curves as a support. This lets me build a mesh inside a very specific shape. Using standard shaper tools, I turn this mesh into a bumpy texture that's easily subtracted from a solid, something that can be very difficult to do with polygon-based textures. For this project, I wanted to do a flat relief instead of a full 3D model. Instead of starting with a box and doing a lot of extruding and moving points around, I imported an image and then used the plane as the support. This allows me to draw the 2D mesh exactly the way I want really quickly. Later, using standard shaper tools, I can extrude and shell the surface, sculpt the top the way I want, and I get a nice frog pendant with the hollow back. Finally, reverse engineering is not just from scan data. Instead of building a skull from scratch, I found this nice STL online. Because it's an STL and not a mesh, it cannot be shaped as is. Retopology to the rescue. We build a mesh right on top, fill in some holes, and now a fully shapeable mesh that I can use in my jewelry projects. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Retopology tool available for 3Shaper version 2. If you'd like to add Retopology to your 3Shaper experience, please contact your local reseller.